Hello guys, today I'll be showing you how to integrate the Grabble Hook system with a complex project like uh, the Dynamic Combat system. It's relatively simple, uh, it might take you around 30 minutes if you go in depth, there will be two ways. I'll be showing you one of the two ways. The, the first way will be very simpler and way faster. If you use the second one, it might take you around 30-20 minutes by far, it should not take you long. So for my project, all well, what you have to do is right click on the gravel hook and migrate to the project you want to go to. In my case, it's dynamic combat system. So already on the path, make sure it's in content and then select the folder. That's all for my project, so you can close it now. As for dynamic combat system, we will find that the, pro that the folder is already here. I'm just going to change color really quick so I know which one I'm using. You go to gravel hook and blueprints on gravel hook character. There will be a few things you have to do. For the time being, you'll see some errors about input actions, uh, the default stuff from Unreal. You can just safely remove all these. Compile and save. They should be all gone. There's also one more variable I want you to rename, which is rotating here. You can just rename it to allow rotating. Something similar. Just to change rotating to something else. By the time you download this or buy this pack, probably it's going to be changed from 4.24 and higher. If you're less, which is 4.23 in my case, you have to change this manually. We close the capital hook character, we go to dynamic combat, and I think we're going to look for the character. I think it was named, yeah, combat character. Let me open the other one just in case. The gravel hook character. Uh, you can simply, as I said, there's two methods. The, sim the simple one, which is inheritance, making the gravel hook the parent of this combat character. Or you can just make all these functions inside here, including the interface. You have to put the interface there as well by simply going here, add there's an interface called the gravel hook. There you go. You can put this one, compile and save, and recreate all the functions, including the interface ones. But I'm not going to do that. It's up to you if you want to do that. But However, if you did it, make sure the local variables remain local and the global variables remain global. If you mix things up, they won't work. In my case, I'm just going to do inheritance. It's more simpler. It will save more time. Let's just go to class settings. Under the parent class, it should be gravel hook character. Compile and save, and it should be all good. Yep. Now, what we have to do is, since we inherited this one, the begin play and the tick should be inherited as well. If you go to begin play on the event graph, it should be here on the left. Right click on it, add call to parent function. We connect this one and then we go exactly how it went. No changes have been made. You do the same for take. Add call to parent function. We connect the execution pins, the ultra seconds as well. And then we go connect the rest of the things. Next will be uh, retargeting the animations. Make sure you go to mesh. Remember this name, it's an A pose. If you open this up, we go to skeleton, we go to tar retarget manager, add it new, a pose, you, that's why I told you to remember it, update all, select the humanoid rig here, auto map it, and save. We're done with this one. For the time being, we are. Next, we go with our uh, grapple hook, we go to the mesh, the skeleton, same thing, retarget manager, add new. Mannequin update, select the rig, human rig, auto map, and save. Now we have to retarget the animations we have. We go to gravel hook folder, under animations, you can just select the montages. You don't have to select the animations. Right click, retarget anim assets. You select the rig we specified from the dynamic combat system. Retarget, make sure the folder path is something you to keep in mind otherwise you will mix things up. Retarget. 
Let's just go here and rename these things. Let me no name it normal high. Let me change mid air to mid air. And low angle to something like also low angle, just no montage included in all these names. Also on gravel hook, when you change these back to even graph, if you go to the bottom side here, uh, the play and the montages has to change as well. Make sure you changes to the make changes to the new animations on the montages you specified. Otherwise, they won't work. Normal high and mid air. Also, one more thing we need to do with the montages. If you go to each and every single one of them, make sure you change the default group to full body. Full body here too. And finally here, full body. As you can see here too, if you go scroll down in notifies, you'll see some anim notifies, which means we have to do the animation blueprint. Now if you go here to event graph, his has stuff related to his work. Mine has to be also implemented. If you go to ours and grab a look character, I have some anim notifies here specified. All what you can do is simply right click Sorry, select them all, copy, and then go back here and select paste. Now this will con will come with errors since we don't have player character here. If you look closer on Grabolo character, you will see that I made a, an interface function here to save it into player character, but you don't have to do that. If we use the combat character animation blueprint, he specified the combat character as the character reference so we can just use character reference no need for this player character and it will work perfectly fine all well, what we have to do is replace all these it might take a while so be patient And this should fix all the errors you get and the animation should play in a good condition. Okay, we're done with the animation blueprints. We go back to, um, if I remember correctly, that's uh, not here, not here. Yes, we have to do the sockets. Uh, also in the mesh, back to skeleton and also for the same thing for me. The mesh skeleton again. You will see one socket in skeleton tree named hand left socket. It's under the hand, the bone name hand left. So we have to create the same thing for the other skeleton. Hand left to create a socket. I name it the same thing. Actually, I think it's the same name. Yes, it is. So we basically just then close this one after you create it. And let me give it a try see if it works but before that we go towards settings and change the game mode override to BP game mode it's the same game mode I provided but we have to make a small change uh, we have to change the default pawn character class sorry to combat character this way it should work perfectly fine and one more thing we need to do before that in BP unreachable object there will be an interface function called capsule trace we i forgot to actually put the actors to ignore so make sure you drag from every line trace or capsule trace make an array and get the player skeletal mesh component get the owner and connect the get owner to make array this will be fixed in 4.24 and higher if you're using 4.23 you have to do this method if you want to integrate it with something else and as I said you have to put this one with every line trace here so we connect this to all of them and one more here compile and save back to save all here 
We changed, I think, almost everything we need to change. Let me give it a try. But first, uh, yeah. I need to put the unreachable objects here, so make sure you put these. Let me give it a try. I click C and it seems to work perfectly fine. I'm close to it so it won't work. There you go. Let me test a new one. If I'm mid-air it will work also fine. So all the controls should work perfectly. If you still have any issues with integrating it to something else, make sure you tell me. Thank you for watching.